needs to to make a pass. And then if you're Jay Wolfman, look, you got to keep doing what you're doing, run the ball, and force him to beat you in the red zone as we get started. And there is strafing. Oh, and that's a dot right there on the sideline. Mike Vick, a 30-yard strike to Tyreek Hill. And just like that, strafing on the move inside of the 25, uh, the 35-yard line there, Rico. What a better what a better way can you have to open up that game with that rollout left and Vick finding that pass right there. I thought he was going to take off with Vick, but he showed his patience. Got a high point. And see, you said it last time. Wolfman's not going to just give up a little... You know, a little pop pass right there. And give him credit. <laughs> Wolfman was covering that corner and then came back in order to get there in time. Yeah. Great defense by Wolf. Also had his linebacker there to barrel down on Vic to not let him scramble and have all that room out there to the side. Vic back to pass once again across the middle. Diggs, ooh, be careful there. Spun right into the defender. Vic off to a good start, though. Two of two passing. 36 yards. Third down and four here uh, for I.B. Strafen. Madden 17 Vikings club champion looking to represent uh, Skull Vikings once again here uh, in Madden 19. Of course, that heartbreaking loss in Madden 18 across the middle. Uh-uh. Incomplete. Got it out. Jamal Adams with a nice tackle. Straight from going for the field goal. Just like that. Hey, you got it. Hey, if you are Jay Wolf, man, that's a win. You just want to keep doing that, staying in the ball game and blowing your neck. Hey, not a red zone struggle there technically, but that is one of those red zone-esque type struggles that we've seen Strafen have. Now, if you're Strafen, are you happy you just got on the board against Jay Wolf? Because the last one was 16-0? I think, I think you're right. I think they're both happy. I think if you're Strafen, you're like, okay, uh, I, can, I can move the ball against this guy. And if you're Wolfman, you're like, okay, this guy, we've done, we've seen this movie before. He'll drive the ball, but can he get into the end zone and score? I have never, for those of you who are not here, is that the Prince? I've never seen a Prince That's Viking what, okay, jersey. Okay, I'm not yes. crazy, right? Okay. So, literally, there's a Prince <laughs> Viking jersey here. That is. If, if there's a way that we can get this on stream, I'll let you guys see it. Man. One of, by far, the coolest jerseys I have seen. I saw it out the corner of my eye. I'm like, I know that's the symbol, right? And, and you know, we saw the, uh, the picture upstairs going towards the suite where the players were warming up in their warm-up area. They got a great picture and portrait of Prince, of course, you know, from Minneapolis here, Asbury Park, all that good stuff here. Man, that is a sweet. It's a Vikings jersey, and it's sweet, man. It's stitched up. It's custom, and it's just got the it's got the sign on it, man. Breaking news from our data czar, Donnie Moore. Seventy-four percent of the public like IB Strafen to win this tournament. I wonder if that was before knowing he was shut out sixteen nothing in the group stage. But he is definitely the people's favorite. Sure, absolutely. I mean, that's that's a solid number. I mean, I don't know if you probably thought you know eighty percent. Uh, but, yeah, that's a solid number, and he deserves it. I mean, he's, he's earned the right to get the praise here. He's been the most consistent player here, and he's got the most experience, absolutely. But I tell you what, there is Wolfman once again showing he can throw the ball. Nice Back little uh, corner round. route over there to Josh Gordon. And how about Wolfman? This run-heavy offense, and he's coming out and trips. Uh, you know, got some, you know, the, the tight uh, on the backside. And like I said, he's got three really good receivers, and there's the run game, and there's Ricky Williams brought down, though. Gain of about five still. Good first down carry for Ricky Williams, second down and five coming up here for Wolfman. Here's where it can get interesting, and this even happens to great Madden vets. If Jay Wolf were to march down and score here rather easily, you got to wonder, does it get back in Ivy Strafen's head that he beat him last time and he couldn't stop him this time? Strafen needs a half a stop here at least to keep this game even. <laughs> Well, the run defense is there. We talked with uh, Strafen before the game. He says, look, man, I I'm not going to allow this guy to run on me. So uh, he did it in the first game, and he was also prepared for this. As we were looking ahead, just in case that he won, he was also prepared for this run-heavy offense uh, from uh, Wolfman there. And, uh, you know, you look at that defense of Strafen. It's the Giants' defense. Back to pass. McNabb going to throw that one away. Third down and five. Fourth down here. Good defense so far for Strafen. So both of these guys showing they can get off the field and cause a little havoc for the opposing And offense. that was great defense by Strafen. He has him in a position right now where if he can get off the field, he can go ahead and take control of this game and gain that momentum he's looking for. Fourth down and five here. Critical play for Wolfman. This guy that feels like he can take this championship and represent the Skull Vikings. Nice route there to Ricky Williams. Good throw. Great catch. 
picks up about eight. That is enough for the first down. Actually give him seven on that play. First down and ten. Great Four. Read. He had oh, people everywhere. That was a very, very, very nice good. play. First down and ten. Yeah. Back to throw. Scrambles to his right. Bullet pass to Josh Gordon. Oh, he kept coming back. Good to come back and work your way back to the ball. But eventually got to turn that thing up field. Does pick up the first down. If I didn't know better, I would think I was watching Strafen's offense as he's running everything everywhere. Right now, Jay Wolf is locked in, and his offense is looking incredible. Look, this is the type of offense that you can take to the next level. Right? If you can run the ball, which we know you want to do, but if, like I said, if he can get it going through the air and be consistent uh, with that, and also be consistent in the play calling of it as well, now he's going to be a tough young man to beat here, man. Uh, you know, watching some of these guys out in Vegas in the Classic uh, and watching how these guys Ohio, like to play, Ohio. there's nothing wrong with being, you know, versatile uh, and being uh, multidimensional, being able to run and pass. Shout out to Big Gene out of Philly checking in. <laughs> Even he's sitting here saying his trio is tough. And I'll tell you right now, Ivy Strafen is looking like, hey, what can I do to stop it? He's nowhere near it. He had people running on the left, wide open. He had that read. Right now, Jay Wolf is having his way on offense. Well, I mean, that's one thing that I pointed out to, you know, to Jay Wolf, man. I'm like, hold on. I mean, you run heavy offense, but I'm like, dude, you got three stud receivers, dude. Like, I mean, what, was Steve Smith Sr. probably the, the worst Ohio. receiver you got? And we know Ohio. the type of plays Ohio. that he made. But, you know, Hill and, and Gordon out there and uh, Steve Smith Black Senior. So I'm like, dude, you got some guys you can get the ball to uh, through the air. Third down and four, big third down here. Oh, he's got a receiver wide open, and there's Flash Gordon. And in a flash just like that, Jay Wolfman takes the lead over straight, but it is 6-3 pinning the PAT. I got a feeling we're going to do this all day. 6-3 lead for Jay Wolfman. Jay Wolfman now up 7-3 here at U.S. Bank Stadium, here in Minneapolis. Wolfman with the lead, strafing. We'll get the ball back here with the second possession of the ball game. Return, Deion Sanders, I'm going Irving, excuse me. First down and 10 coming up for strafing. Everybody, I'm gonna get a picture of the Prince jersey that I've never seen before. I'm gonna go ahead and post it out there. By far the greatest NFL. Oh, I need to get a picture. Of uh, it's got the back too. It's got Prince, the name on the back. Absolutely. And you got to get the chain too. What does the chain say? Got it. Now speaking of getting the chains, look at him moving the chains. Ivy Straven trying to answer back really quickly. That's good. That, that's a professional right there. That was a professional at bat, my friend. First down of ten for Straven. Second possession. Down seven to three. Mike Vick. Run, Mike Vick. Run, Mike Vick. Throws it away. Actually, we're going to try to show this, this gentleman over here with the Prince jersey after this play. Uh, Mitch, guys, if we can go to the gentleman with the Prince jersey right after this play. We'll show it real quickly to the folks watching here on Twitch. Mike Vick back to throw. Got to get it away quick. Caught by Randy Moss, and that's a gain of about five. All right, let's show the man with the Prince jersey. And there it is. Look how sweet that is. Turn around, show the back. How sweet is that? The symbol right there, Prince here in Minneapolis, his hometown here. Asbury Park, good stuff there. Diamonds and pearls, baby. That's sweet right there, man. Like that. Third down and seven. Boyd behind him, and he still caught it. And that was just as sweet, that grab that moves the chains. And Ivy Strafe is now starting to get in his little groove. Did, had a little bit of trouble in the red zone. Well, not the red zone. He couldn't get down there. Yeah, but got around the 30. First and 10. Yeah. First down and 10 here as we get set for the second quarter. We've got a good one brewing here. Jay Wolfman and I.B. Strafing here. Also the winner of the it? Vikings Club Championship. Is that thing on Velcro or Yeah, two? but here's the thing. <laughs> it's the Vikings Club Championship ball, too. Yes. you got to love it. It's not just gotta the football. That. It gets better. And it's customized, too. Saturday, December 15, 2018, U.S. Bank Stadium. That is sweet, bro. I like that. You take a look on the other side there. Nice. Winner gets this as well, man. It's a real ball, too. Nice. Got the one. Is that? Yeah, it's got first class. Good deal. Second on it and everything, man. Second and ten for. Oh, be careful. And he dislodged the ball. No, it is caught by Tyreek Hill. And that's a first down. And now we've got Strafen in the red zone. 
yeah, I'm going to give him the red zone. He's at the 20. Yep. He gets the red zone. Now, can he get in without throwing the high point pass? See, Wolf Man just smiled. <laughs> I can see he knows ears. what's coming. <laughs> Strafen trailing 7 to 3, second possession. Here in the start of the second quarter, Randy Moss. Good job running those little, uh, little dig routes there to Randy Moss. Second time he's hit him. Both times have been for five yards or around there. Second and three. For Strafen. Looking to get back the title of the Madden Vikings Club champion. Leonard Fournette up the gut. Gonna come up short. Give him about two on that one. Third down and two uh, for Strafen. I'll be interested to see how the Madden vet Strafen decides to go about getting these two yards. Whether he makes it a, a one play attempt and takes three. If he knows he has two shots at him, does he take it to the air? Uh, if I'm straight, I go for it at, at this juncture of the ball. Game. Mike Vick, can he run for it? No, he's going to have to throw it away. It'll be fourth down and two. Will he take the points? Uh, he will take the points. What do you think about this? Do you take the points here? Do you, do you think, like, hey, you know? I would have ran the ball twice. I probably he, would have, too. He was looking for it. <sighs> but there's a reason why you and I are sitting here calling <laughs> the game, and there's a reason why they're playing the game. Yeah. Uh, but I'm also looking at time and place. I'm looking at the score where I'm at. And I just think, you know, you know, early part of the second quarter, I'm going to have enough possessions uh, where I'll be fine. Uh, but you're right. I mean, there, there's a difference between being down 7-6 to six or possibly staring at a 10-3 you know, to three or 14-3 to three ball game. But you got to have some confidence in your defense uh, that you can't stop this guy. First down and 10. Jay Wolfman with the second possession. There's Ricky Williams. Oh, you know you're going to get a truck. No truck there. Just brought down after a gain of eight yards, second down and two. You're live from U.S. Bank Stadium. It's the Vikings Club Championship. Larry Ridley, Rico Williams on the call here from downtown Minneapolis, live here on Twitch. Twitch.tv slash EA Madden NFL. Second and two. Ricky Williams getting the first down there as he's short about a half a yard. We'll give him the first down. Here's my initial thought there, first and ten. What have you seen so far from Joe Wolfman, man? Moving the sticks. Everything we thought he'd have and then some. He has all the confidence in the world coming into this game. He knows he's beat Strafen before. He felt comfortable. Had a great opening game himself. Even after seeing Strafen's game, he still wasn't worried. He has the same look on that he's had all game. He just needs to continue executing. And right now it looks like this is his game to lose. Oh, and there's oh. the pick. The big man. And there is the game-changing play. And for the first time today, we've seen some emotion from I.B. Strafen down by 7-6. Shouting out his guys. He's got Jag City back there. Big crew. Wow. From a young man from Marshfield, Wisconsin. And now Wolfman has to put that behind him. He has to play some defense now. Keep Strafen from finally getting a 7. Because you can't expect that to happen. This is where I talk about where you say, EA Sports, it's in the game. <laughs> Man, I'm playing, I'm going great, got two half stops, I'm about to score. I'm glad you brought that up. He, I actually want to give him credit for having two stops. One was a red zone stop, the other one close to a red zone, but in the Madden world, let's go ahead and give him two red zone stops. Can that continue? Because that's going to be the key to this ball game. I, gr I really appreciate that. I'm glad you brought that point up because that's the difference right now for Jay Wolfman uh, in being in this ball game and, and possibly being down. And there's Mike Vick. Smothered. Just got that off. Third down and nine here for Strafen. And once again, the red zone woes starting to rear its head just a little bit, Rico. We were wondering how much has he worked on it. Still not technically red zone, but in the world of Madden, we're going to give it to him because this is still an area in an area of the field where he has struggled in the last Vikings Club Championship and also evidently against... Wolfman in the online qualifiers. Mike Vick takes off and run, and he picks up about 12 there. That's enough for the first down. Who would have thought his running game was going to come with his quarterback? But, hey, you'll take it. Shout-outs to Master Gamer and don't care about ice. Master Gamer had a great did. run did. at the Classic. Western Florida's own. Yes, mm. the Wawa fan. I love him. <laughs> great job, Matt. We're all proud of you. So uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure that Skimbo beat, uh, I think I saw he beat, don't care about ice, right? On, yeah. on, on his run. Yes, another, another hell game, absolutely. 
First down and 10. You guys did a great job with the Madden Classic, man. I was at CBS Sports Radio watching that last Saturday, man. Good stuff there as Leonard Fournette takes off, picks up about eight or nine, second down and two here for Strafen. If Strafen can find a way to win here today, he'll become the fifth player ever to win multiple club championship titles with the same club. Killer Mike? Absolutely. Uh -huh. can, you, can you give me? Can uh, you give me one more? I know you were there for Mike's. Uh, did Skimbo win two? No, he lost. No, well, no but I thought he won yeah. one last no, year. No, he didn't. Okay. Up, up. It's not. Oh, man. Who is it? Figgy oh, no, oh, no. I got, I got one for you. I got one for you. We were just there for the Steelers. Yeah. Deliverance. Deliverance. <laughs> I wanted to make sure you do it. Yes. Maple's own. Two, three, nine. Stand up. And the other one? Monster. Oh, yes. 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 Monster. Okay. Yep, another great tidbit by the data czar, Donnie Moore. Man, Donnie Moore, if you own one, man, I tell you what, man. Donnie Moore, do you have anything else to do other than look up factual stuff? <laughs> I don't even think he looks it up. I think he just knows everything. He's the human calculator got, got his slash back encyclopedia pocket. slash atlas. You name it, that's him. Man. But as you see, Strafen is starting to run the ball a little bit. He's trying to take care of that clock because I think he's realizing that that offense that Jay Wolf has is tough. Well, if you're Jay Wolf, you got to be thinking, look, you're going to get the ball back. First and goal, second goal, timeout here. You're going to get the ball back. Um, man, is this one of this, this is a tough one there. Uh, if you're Jay Wolf, right, you're looking at this thing. You got a minute and 11 seconds left, right? It, 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 this is all on Strafen. Strafen can bleed this clock down, man. He can bleed it completely down if he wants to. Strafen needs to get in this end zone. <laughs> he yeah, don't play around. Don't play around, but you know, you 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 can really you can really do some damage here. Although Wolfman would get the ball back, right? Yeah, because Strafen had the ball first, so Wolfman would get the ball back uh, to start the second half. So if you're Strafen, you just want to score. Uh, but you are watching that clock. You don't want him to have an opportunity to kick a field goal and then come out maybe uh, potentially get a touchdown. I do not like that okay. toss call there. Mm, I'm with you on, you're on the one-yard line. I'm with you on that. Why turn it into you. a six-yard run when you had it right there? So now you're a third and goal from the five. Yeah, baby. Uh, I'm with you on that. Yeah. Twi out, out. Chat, what are you guys oh, running oh. there on second and goal from the one? Are you running the toss, or are you giving me something else? Uh, I'm giving you something, some sort of power. <laughs> Third and goal for Ivy Strafen. Will the red zone woes? We've been talking about it all afternoon. Will they continue? Fournette, he's not going to make it. No, no, did he step out? He did. He stepped out at the half-yard line. Fourth and goal. What's the call here, Madden historian? You, got, you take your three, and you love oh it. Oh, my god. You gosh. take your three, and I'm – I've been telling him to go for it the whole time. Right here, you take that three. You're up 9-7. He has no more timeouts. No. I go for it the first time. I kick the second time. I go for it here. Well, at, at the point where you put yourself in the <laughs> position, by not, we agree he should have went for it one of the other times. But once again, it's easy for us to make that call. Whoa. Did you see the yeah, big was a deal. Like, yes. Big pitch. Uh -oh. Yeah. Uh-oh, he's got some, got some speed. We saw that in Pittsburgh. And now he's yeah. giving himself great field position. What a ball game here. Two high-level competitors playing just out of their minds defensively, offensively, giving the defense something to think about. But I want to focus on the defense, how both guys have done a fabulous job of not cracking under pressure. First down and 10. McNabb, back though, he's got to let it go. Up top, aggressive, can't hold on to it. Tight end not able to hold on to that one. It'll be second down and 10. That's Jay Wolfman trying to get in the field goal range to take this lead here going into the break. We had two blowouts earlier, but this game is everything we wanted in that zone. It is a chess match. Now, you cannot give up points here, whether it's three or seven if you're strafing. Oh, that ball hung up there a little too long. You got to put that thing on a rope, preferably on the outside there. Now, here's where it gets interesting. If you don't get it, do you punt? Yes. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, I would. Third down and 10. Strafen has to play defense here. He has to get off the field. You cannot give this up. I'm still fascinated that Wolfman has thrown the ball so much. I did not think this young man had it in him to be able to move the ball through the air. Shout out to him and big ups to him, man. You can clearly see he's been working on that. 
He's got A. He, he had A, and now he's got to hit Y or B too late. He's got to hold on to the ball. He had A screaming right down the seam. Wasn't able to hit him, didn't see it fast enough. And how relieved is Strafe in there? Because he would have been in some trouble. Now, if he, can get a, if he can get a decent return here, you punt this thing out of bounds. Yeah. <laughs> you don't give him a decent return. I, I, think, I was hoping he was going to give him a shot just yeah. to keep it fun. Now, four seconds left. You're up 9 7. I'm taking the knee. Yep. Got it. Nine to seven here, lead for Strafen. First down and ten. Last play here of the second quarter. Maybe you try to go to Randy Moss. You got a little toss there to Fournette, and that will end the half. As we go to the half, got plenty of fans here watching some high school football. Plenty of festivities. Got John Randall signing autographs. Got my man with that custom Prince jersey. Who doesn't love it here in Minneapolis, the land of the Skywalks and the 10,000 lakes? Here at U.S. Bank Stadium, Larry Ridley, alongside Rico Williams for the final here, the grand final, the championship of the Vikings Club Championship. One of these young men, Strafing or Wolfman, will represent Skull Vikings in the club championship out west in Redwood City later next month. You realize Jay Wolf and Strafen have played six quarters of football, including the game. Strafen has still not scored a touchdown. <laughs> he shut him out the first game, three field goals in the first half. An aggregate score of what, 23 to 9, I believe, right? Yep. First down and 10. Wolfman with the ball, down by two. It's going to be one of those. Boy, I tell you, man, he's got him on that corner route. He's got to throw it a little bit sooner. Maybe give him a chance to turn up field, but he does this time connect with Josh Gordon there. Old Flash Gordon on the sideline for Jay Wolfman. Jay Wolfman has just abandoned the run. I mean, just, and here he comes back right up the middle, but Strafen has been ready there uh, to take it on and slow down their running. That was a great block shit. Second down and eight. Jay Wolfman, once again, back with the trips. Got Gordon in motion, trips tight, back offset. Ricky Williams to the right-hand side. Ohio. 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 Donovan McNabb Ohio. in the gun. Jay Wolfman down by two. 9-7 ball game here. The championship of the Vikings Club championship. And there's Ricky Williams, picks up a block. Great job, adjustment. Trucks a guy, keeps running. Picks up another seven yards. Awesome job setting up the block outside. Watch this. Set him up with his tight end and was able to pick up another 15, 20 yards there off the truck as well. If you're strafing now, you, you, you've played around for three quarters. I got to start sending the heat. You got to send those goons at him. You got you to come with five some, or six. He, he brought some heat off the no, left hand side. He's going to have to bring more and get more creative. <laughs> okay. There's, oh, you can't continue to allow him this much time to develop those routes and run that. He has to get some pressure second down and eight for Jay Wolfman down by two can he get some scoring inside of the red zone second down and eight once again trips to the right tight end to the left Kittle should have had Shannon Sharp's record did not break it got X and he was wide open there's Josh Gordon the spin move back to the inside inside of the 10 we'll call it around the six four Jay Wolfman on the move again, and once again, one of these two guys have the ball in the red zone. Can they cash in? There's a casino here, right? <laughs> in Minneapolis. The chips are there. Can they cash in? Rico Williams. I'm tired of sending everybody eating all this food around here, man. <laughs> well, right now, it looks like Jay Wolf's about to eat straight for lunch as he eight. makes this corner. Uh-oh. One more spin move. This is where you got to channel your inner RG. You got to hold the door here. It's tense. 10 9 is where Strafen needs to be after these next three downs. He cannot afford to give up a touchdown. If he goes down 14 to 9, then you, you haven't scored a touchdown. You haven't scored a touchdown in six quarters, going on seven. <laughs> so you got you to figure out you got to win this Golden State style. Th that is you have true. to win this hitting threes. Look at the intensity, though, in Strafen's face. And, and look at Jay Wolfman. No smiling now. They understand how important. And serious, oh, you had Y, you missed him. Had him, and there's the fumble. Oh, my gosh. Plays like that. User strip fumble by I.B. Strafen. He had Y, and he just saw it too. Jay Wolf has nobody to blame but himself nope. on that. You cannot let your quarterback take that hit. You cannot miss that read. And in there, you got too cute. 
as he was there close. He needed to run the ball there. Talk to Strafen, and I said, look, you're the, you're the favorite. Everyone knows this. Do you feel that way? First, he tried to hit his bets, and then he said, yes, I do. I'm the favorite. I've been playing against guys, and, and, uh, and, I've, and I've beaten a lot of guys. And not only that, Larry, I've played against guys in live events. I've got plenty of live event experience. I should be able to go out here and close the deal. And right now, he's doing a good job of that. A couple of turnovers there in crucial, crucial situations by Jay Wolfman. Uh, that has Strafen in the lead there. That's 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 got to be a tough pill to swallow for Wolfman. Yeah, yeah, that one's gonna hurt. He's gonna remember that play for quite some time if this game doesn't go his way. Shout out to Blocky, Blocky making an appearance in the chat as well. Oh, top oh. Madden, the, that Top Madden and EMB crews both oh, put on a show oh, out at the class. You got to tip your hat to Problem and uh, Joke, the leaders of those guys. And I respect the way that Blocky does it, man. He doesn't say anything. There's no emotion. There's no woofing, there's no chirping. It's just it's just beating your head in with the stick. You know, that, that's all it is, man. And he goes about, he has a smile on his face when he's over. You can't tell if he's winning or when he's losing. He's got the poker face. He's a damn good Madden player, man. Uh, I enjoyed covering him and uh, doing the, the Dolphins Club Championship last year, that run that he had winning the title. There's a wide open receiver. And there is Gordon, spin move, a couple more spin moves there. And there is Strafen, woofing, chirping to his boys out there. Jack City, those guys, you know they love it. Once again, we're close to the red zone. This will be like the fifth time, and he only has nine points to show for it. Is this the first time where Strafen gets in the end zone? Oh, what a truck there. Woo! All right, chat, call it now. One, if Strafen scores a touchdown. Two, for any other outcome. <laughs> what are we going with? What do you think happens here, Larry? Does he score on this drive, a touchdown on this drive? Oh, oh. I'm, you know, I'm going with history, man. I'm going to oh, say oh. any other outcome. Until he does it, you know, it's been what? Seven quarters. We'll just have to see. There's a throwaway, so we got another third and seven here. Both of these guys living on the edge. They're moving the ball between the, I guess we can't say the 20s. We'll say the 30s. <laughs> <laughs> True, because he hasn't gotten that close. Yeah. But, man, it's just, it's something. There's some sort of heck, some, something on the on this field at the 30 yard line that's preventing these two fine competitors from uh you know converting on third down and, and, and in the red zone and he's got everybody swallowed up now get your user go get a sack and i don't know what it is rico can you explain to me why both guys are struggling here in the red zone and on third down well i can tell you why Jay Wolfman didn't click on. He didn't want to get shook. Because <laughs> at that point, then it's mano a mano to stick on stick. And he didn't want to have to deal with that. And then Strafen knew that as long as he didn't click on, he was not going get, to get out of that computer. Right. So you know what? Threw it away. Decided to take three once again. This time the tie does <laughs> yes. not go to the runner. Exactly. <laughs> that's exactly I was watching like, oh, man, he doesn't, he doesn't want to use him. He doesn't want to. He really doesn't want any parts of Mike Vick 101 in the open field right there. First down and 10 here for Jay Wolfman. Down by five, it's 12-7. Late stages here in the third quarter. Vikings Club Championship live here from US Bank Stadium. Larry Ridley, Rico Williams here. Fabulous finally here once again. High level Madden competition. Got a couple of guys moving the ball up and down the field. Cannot cash in inside of the third. He's going deep. Got Tyreek Hill way out of bounds there. Didn't give him too much of a chance there. McNabb, 8 of 13. Buck 36, T and a pick for Wolfman. If you're Jay Wolfman, you still got to feel good to know Absolutely. that all you need is one score and you're back in the lead. But you'd like to have a score. Do you go for two? Yes. Just because yes. you know Strafing can't, sc can't score a touchdown. So you don't want 15 to beat you. No, at this point, absolutely. 15 you beats Plus 14. It's the fourth quarter. Yeah. Yeah. It's the fourth quarter. So you go for two. It's not yet, but it will be in nine seconds. But absolutely, even if this was the third quarter, I'd probably still go for the two in this situation. Third down and 10 here. Once again, guys are doing great on first and second down. Not very many third down conversions. I don't know, maybe one fourth down conversion that I can remember here. Third down and 10. Wolfman, back to pass. Here comes the pressure. You asked for it, and he got a receiver. And Williams, once again, great tackling. Rallying to the ball. Melvin with the tackle, fourth and three. Live here from U.S. Bank Stadium, a sunny day. Don't let that sun fool you guys. Look at that river right there, frozen. That's a sheet of ice here in the Twin Cities, Minneapolis. 
for the Vikings Club Championship. Got some football going on down on the field here at U.S. Bank High School action up here inside of the Hyundai Club. Midway up here inside of U.S. Bank. It is fourth and three, and Wolfman is going to go for it on his own 28-yard line. He's going to have three options open <laughs> on this play. The question is, is he going to pick the right one? That's where you go. I was thinking you got to go Josh Gordon. And the thing is, he, he went late. He still yeah. he had that one wide open. I know it. Well, he's had they some. put their fours up. They're ready to go. Yeah, and we knew he was going to have everybody running open on that. <laughs> well, I'm still concerned about McNabb throwing those long outs and those corner routes. I mean, it's the right play, but it's like I, I don't like it. Oh, I don't like, I don't like the way he's spinning it. Put it that way. Oh, he had B. Too late. You got wide, wide open. I don't know if he sees it. He does. Gordon, and he's caught it. Oh, nice move. Can Josh Gordon get in? He cannot. But what we do have set up here, Rico, is another red zone opportunity. We've had, what, I think five from Strafen and four now from Wolfman. We've had nine combined red zone opportunities, one touchdown. They are combined one, well, one for eight. This is the ninth one. One for eight in the red zone they are combined right now. Can you believe that? No, no I can't. I, and that's something he could do. <laughs> yeah, I can, I can not, he got beat. Oh, he had him, but he caught it anyway. He had two guys open. You called it, man. His the thing no, is, he caught it out no, of bounds. He, no, which hurts. he got one for him. He has, he has. Right now, you have to admit, honestly, Let's strafing is nowhere near Jay Wolf's offense. He's not. With, he's not close to his no, reads. He's not. <laughs> he's not. He's not. not. Guys, I've watched a lot of Madden this year. I've seen a lot of plays. This offense is great. Jay Bird said the only one that's running something close to it is Vilma. Yep, there's, there's some similarities there. Yeah, absolutely. Shout out to Vilma. Man, he, great he had X. You got you to gotta put it on him right then. He, he is long. Look, he had B on the last uh, on the last play, right? He had a dig route wide open, nobody near him. He took X anyway. That was a tough fit. And then there he had X again, once again a little bit late. Wolfman, uh, if you don't score here, you got to look back at some of these red zone opportunities. I know Strafen has struggled in the red zone, but you've had clear opportunities where guys have been running wide open. You just hit it, and it's nerves. That's all it is right now, Rico. It is complete nerves right now that is stopping this young man from having a probably a two-score lead right now. Yes. Take B. Take it. Take it. No, you're short. He is you're worried short. about turning this ball over, yes. and now he has to make a decision here. Uh-oh. He's going for it. I would, too, probably right here. I, I, I probably he, would. I mean, it, He's I, I all need, over Strafen's offense. I think I, he, he, he get the ball back. He still has three timeouts. You're right. That's the right call. But for him and his confidence, he's got to do something. He's got guys but running wide open. Score. He's having trouble scoring touchdowns. So if he takes three, gets a stop, a three wins it. You, you got you, you, you got you, you, but you know what you, you got to swing the sword man. you got to you got to go for broke right now because you, look you, you got guys open you, 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 and that's what it needed and right there look he said let's go and he said everybody he said the house I told him that's why you take that three it's now 12 10 you put the pressure on Strafen to try to, now Strafen's gonna let that clock run right he's gonna run. Well, remember, a field goal doesn't beat you either. So you're still, you're still, you're still in it. A, tough, a touchdown, and it's pretty much over. But hey, look at his defense. He's blowing his neck. Here's the problem with Wolfman. If you look at it, you, you, you just brought up the great point there. He's got guys running open. He's just not seeing them. See it, man. It's there for you. You have outplayed a player that's better than you. You've, 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 you've held the guy without a touchdown for what? Seven quarters. <laughs> Seven and a half quarters, yeah. Oh, it's on. It? Second down and 14, Strafen back to pass. And he's all over that. He is sniffing out everything that Strafen's doing. I didn't have a problem going for it there, but. Now that you look and see how easily he's stopping him. Yeah. And so, that's why you take the three. But maybe he needs to do something to kind of like jumpstart himself. You know what I'm saying? That's the only reason I was I was down for it, but I, I was also wasn't expecting a Strafen. Let's now, go here's another a fourth big down. decision. You got, you, got the, you got to pump this thing. I don't know you that I take that time out there. Yeah, you don't need Why did he take the time out? Yeah. Somebody in the chat, explain to me why you take that time out there. Wow, Strafen's going for it here. What do you think? You think you like this call going for it here? Yes. Especially with him taking that time out. 
Oh, well, the, yeah. That, With that him taking matter. that timeout, I go for it here just because J Wolf did it. And now I have a chance to end it. And he's wide. Oh, guys. Got him. There it is. Oh, hold on to that ball. It's thick. And J Wolf, now you take this down. Oh, he has to run one more. Yeah. Another, another, another first down, and it's over. Can J Wolf, man, get off the field here? Strafen's going to win this thing if he can pick up another first down. And this was that rock fight we were talking about. We got one here. Now, this is a phone booth fight right here, man. Not a lot of room to move. Not a lot of room to breathe. First and ten here as we take down towards the two-minute warning. He's going to have to snap it once. The question is, do you get a quick little stop here, and then you call a timeout? Strafen called that one. Call that one. Yep. I guess he didn't like what he saw. I was thinking if you run the ball, you get stopped. I hit a timeout, and then you get the two-minute warning again on the back side of that as well. Eagle, eagle. First down and ten for Strafen. Looking for one more timeout. Jay Wolfman needs to get a stop here. Run up the gut. Oh, great fit right there. Great fit by Wolfman. Oh, I was thinking, do you call the timeout? It was 2 one Possible? Then, then this has to be that drive. Yeah. If you call that, then this is the one you have to get off the field for. Well, this is the one anyway. There's just not enough time left. Yeah, you could have got another play and saved yourself a little bit. Yeah. It's just about clock management, how you like to go about it. Second down and 10 for Strafen. Got trips to the right. Ends it off the four net. Got some room on the right side. Picks up the first down, and that's going to just about do it. Going to have to run probably two more plays. But unless something catastrophic happens here, he's going to pull out an ugly win. But they don't ask you how you do it. They don't ask you how it happened. They just ask you, what was the result? And right now the result is he is up by five. Wow, Leonard Fournette. <laughs> Man, Jay Wolf's going to think about this one for a while. Well, that's why I'm thinking maybe you just go for it anyway because you still would have been down. You have to get the ball back. I'm thinking, is it easier just to pick one first down up or to score twice? We'll never know. <laughs> well, I mean, that's why I probably go, that's why I went for it, you know. It's like my, I, I like my odds better on my arm, on my shoulders, my offense, getting one play, or do I try to stop him twice? And there's Fournette, and that's going to do it. Uh, that definitely is yeah, right, right there. They know it. They know it. Look at Jack City. Look at him eating back there like – Zeke Elliott put some money in the uh, Salvation Army kennel. Do they have one here at U.S. Bank? Ah, uh, man, I know Strafen has to be relieved. Man. To know, because he knows in his heart of heart he knows he was that he couldn't stop. Jay he was Wolf. He was. And, and Jay Wolf has to know he let one get away today. Um, you know, rookie, I don't want to call it rookie mistakes, but, man, he just he just had some misfires. I mean, those, he had some opportunities, man, to really – I mean, if, look, looking at the way this game was played, if you would have told me, oh, Jay Wolfman only had seven points, I would have said, you're a liar. How, how did he only score seven points? He outplayed this guy. Well, critical situations and critical moments, Strafen was able to get off the field, cause some turnovers. Nine red zone opportunities in this ball game, one touchdown. And that will do it. I be Strafen, won it in 17, Vikings club champion, 18 lost in the final, back in the winner's circle for the Vikings Club Championship. Give it up for Ivy Strafen. He's going on to Redwood City in January to play for the club championship in his share of $700,000. He pulls it out against Wolfman today. An ugly affair, but it's a 12-7 winner as we go to PA standing by once again with the Madden Vikings Club Champion. All righty. Thank you, my man. Uh, you ready to go back to California? I am. I'm ready. I'm ready. What, uh, what, what, will you, what strategy will you bring this time maybe you didn't bring last time? Uh, try to get a little bit more prepared for certain things. Um, last Two years ago, Juan kind of caught me off guard with his offense. Uh, shout out to Monster. It's my boy. Uh, yeah, I'll be a little bit more prepared, and uh, I'm just excited. So you have a month and a half to play for a tournament that has $700,000 in prize money, but a hundred grand for first place. A month and change. What do you do? Get ready, prepare. I got. I work in a school, so I got two weeks off for uh, Christmas break. So I'll yeah, I'll be on and getting ready. Now, if uh, a few hours ago, Ryan, I had told you in the championship game you would not score a touchdown, what would you think? Par for the course. I kind of struggle sometimes. But, uh, <laughs> hey, he, he battled all game. I just want to take my threes and uh, hope for the best. Uh, this is yours. Congratulations on Appreciate being the uh, 
Go ahead. Quick shout out to my wife, Amy the Goat. She's watching back home. I'll be home soon. Uh, being the Minnesota Vikings club champion, and uh, Ryan is off to California to play for 100 grand. Rico, Larry. All right, good stuff there. Paul Allen, the voice of the Vikings, and there he is, the Vikings club champion for Madden 19, heading back to Redwood City. Look at him, giving it up to some of his mates out there, his boys, Jag City and the crew. Look, I, I think those guys, they get a game ball as well because they were there cheering him on. They gave him the energy and also the momentum. They had his back the entire time, and I think that helped Rico. Absolutely. That must have been an interesting yeah. kindergarten class. With all those characters in there, I'm shocked anybody learned anything. <laughs> Bunch of knuckleheads. <laughs> yes. But Strafen walks away a winner. Somebody else is going to walk away a winner. One of my new followers. Don't forget we're giving out that legend Chris Carter, the legend John Randall. Larry's hooking you guys up with a PS4 Madden, an Xbox One Madden. Vikings, great time once again. Never a dull moment here. Man, Rico, if you include that last drive, 10 red zone opportunities. 